You know, the life expectancy in Zambia have been calculated at 36 years of age. You can imagine um, how, how many orphans there are. An auntie or an uncle have inherited 9 or 10 or 11 children. An old grandmother who has got four youngsters running around and she has to not only put them through school, but she has to um, give them food. They say, no, we only ate yesterday once. At our home, we only eat once. And when we eat once, the next meal will be tomorrow. There's no food. They come to school on empty bellies. She became very hungry in daytime. And on two occasions, she was lured by shady characters with a promise of a little bit of money or the promise of a plate of food and then she would follow these complete strangers. On both occasions she was raped. Girls or women end up with children whom they don't even know whom their fathers are. And therefore it's difficult for them to provide food. You ask them how old were you when you got married, they would say 15 or 14. Very tender age, which means their school was cut off. So we've seen that one of the ways in which we can help these children and to help in the community to introduce the feeding program at the school. We believe educating the child is educating the child as a whole. You are not just concentrating on intellectual, but you are touching spiritual, emotional and physical. They're not just going to receive intellectual knowledge, but that we will give them a plate of food and that, that will make them less vulnerable. We want to send them home knowing that they've had a nutritious meal. We want to know that um, even if the children move on, um, but because we have also built into the teacher, the next year's class will reap the same benefits, the same strengths from this teacher. And so we try to have our schools benefit the teacher, the children and the children's parents, year in and year out.